Hi everyone, I'm Wen Xun from Asia Pacific University. Today I would like to talk about a software named PC Mover. PC Mover is actually a very simple software that allows us to transfer files and application. Have you all wondered when you all just bought a new PC with Windows 8 and you have an old PC that you have used for a very long time, which is Windows 7, and then uh, in that PC, in the old PC, you have your application, you have your files, everything, your settings, everything, which you don't want to change. You don't want to do, do all over again. So what should you do? It's actually there's a software named PC Mover, whereby you can transfer your file from one PC to another. Okay, so PC Mover allows you to transfer settings, applications. You can choose what application that you need to, you want to transfer, your files, even your users, your desktop background. It's an amazing software and it's easy to use. So, let's start. Alright, so uh, in order for us to transfer everything, first we, of course, we need two uh, different PCs. One uh, is uh, two different windows of the cat. This one is Windows 7 and the new PC will be Windows 8. For both PC, I have installed uh, PC Mover software. So first we run PC Mover and then we choose PC to PC transfer as we are like transferring from PC to PC from OPC to the new PC. First we do for Windows 7 first the OPC. Then we click next. I have read everything, the, the agreement and everything. So we choose the O as this is the O one. And then we will choose uh, Wi-Fi or wired network as like uh, okay for this right. I actually choose internal network. Okay, so I will choose Wi-Fi or wired network, and later on at the new PC, I will do the same thing. So, uh, we need a connection password actually for because later on at the new PC, we ask us to uh like key in the new uh the password in order to verify. So I will just create one, two, three, four, maybe uh something like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. The same thing. Then next. So this will like in progress network transfer. It will stop at this space first. We stop at this space. We go to the new PC. So you can see. We choose the same thing PC to PC transfer. Then next, the same thing. But now different. We choose new. And then, okay, well, this one is about the license agreement, everything. Okay, it's the number. It's just the license for this software. I click next. And I also choose Wi Fi or wired network. Okay, the device network, uh, network setting. It's also internal network, okay? So it's like a uh, true network transfer. It actually, it's just like uh, it, both computer must be connected to the the same network. And then next, it automatically detect my Windows Seven PC name version dash PC. So it already locate the old PC there actually. So it will automatically locate. If it's like um, it can't detect right, we can choose browse, and then you scan. We scan or select from network. Click next. It asks us to key in the password. One, two, three, four. So it will now analyze the PC to check how many applications, how many files are there that it needs to be transferred. While it analyzing, we go to Windows 7. Okay. As you can see, the desktop background is this one. Oh, it's over here, one, two, three. So their file, their application, uh, Google, Google Slides, Google Docs, iTunes, uh, VRC Player, everything. So for here, which is just now for Modula Firefox, right? I already set uh, the Facebook as the... Um, uh, I already bookmarked Facebook at Mozilla Firefox. Okay. So here got standard, customize, and full customize. For standard, it's just like you just transfer normal things. Customize, you can choose uh, 
or edit the application that you need to be transferred. Okay, and then full customize means everything. Okay, we click on customize setting first. Then you can see they are green, they are brown color. Green means like fully 100% compatible and it can be fully transferred if it's successful. For brown, it's like likely because uh, some of them working in 32 bits, some of them working in 64 bit. So maybe Windows 7 is working in 6 uh 32 bit but in Windows 6 uh, Windows 8 sorry uh it can only work on 64 bit so you're not sure about that but I will just click all and then it will now configure the transfer okay so uh as I said just now right in Mozilla Firefox that I already bookmark Facebook later we can check and see whether the Facebook bookmark is still there Click next means um, the Facebook bookmark means a part of the Mozilla. If, if when we're transferring Mozilla, we will check whether it's actually we transfer everything, like literally everything to the new PC or not. And we will check the desktop background also. So for desktop background, right, you can see that uh, the file is here. If the file is not here, it will actually not. Uh, showing not changing the desktop background, it will remain this yellow color background. Okay, so I already put there at the file, so later it should be working. We can check and see. Okay, waiting, right? Okay, it's now transferring while waiting. I can explain that uh, PC mover itself it can uh, not only do like transfer from OPC to new PC. Can only uh, it can also undo the process. For example, just now the first page that it shows, right? You can actually undo the page, uh, the the transfer. After we finish transferring everything, later we can try to undo the whole process. We work we work back the PC to the initial condition. Then it has the other function as well, like mounting uh this, uh like Windows upgrade. So uh, there are other pos there are other uh function that we can figure figure out it later. So as you can see now has Dropbox guide all these things. At the end, um when transfer right at the end of the transfer, this thing will still be here. The Dropbox and the Skype, all this will still be here. For the same like uh at Windows 7 there are Google Chrome, right? Here also have Google Chrome. So the room over here will be remain the same. Okay. So uh it's not like everything being transferred is like cloning. So Windows 7, those things will still be here. Hello Windows 8. Okay, we uh, uh, add on things uh. Okay, we can view report. Show. It's already done. Okay. So this is the summary of it. Uh do what method everything. Done. I click restart automatically because uh, let this PC, this new PC to reboot. Alright, just hold on. And then for Windows 7, the transfer is actually already completed. Okay. And here we can also view the uh, what is it? The report also. But then I'm not viewing it now lah, because uh like uh later on we can check because it's the same thing actually. Okay, as I said, easy to do transfer, Windows upgrade, image and draft assistant, undo previous transfer. From here we cannot do undo previous transfer as because um this is not the new PC. Later the new PC we can actually do undo the previous transfer. Okay, I just simply choose anything first. I need to show you something. Windows 8 is now done. Yeah. You can see this desktop background, this file, and all these applications are still here. Okay, let's check for um Mozilla Firefox. I actually uh not connected to internet, uh, I'm just connected to inter internal network. It's like here.
this bookmark uh, selamat datang ke Facebook please log in page Facebook log in page is being bookmark means the setting are all the same literally everything the same so so far that they say that might not be uh, successful also the same okay now I can press undo to the faster I revert back everything same thing I have read knowledge thing we revert back go to window set okay connection method we're talking about while waiting for that undo process we can check for connection method I've explained about this Wi-Fi or wire network means uh, connected to the same network or it, it is uh, yeah internet internal network also the same it's not transferring using net, using network using any data but it's like it's just need to be connected to the same local area network okay for lab link ethernet cable means we can use ethernet cable to transfer to connect both pc one cable and then for lab link usb cable we connect both pc with usb cable or we can actually use this file storage device like usb dvd and many more This is still under the process. Okay, this one. So uh, about the agreement, right? Just now we just click. We haven't read like really read about it. Like it says, PC mobile must be installed on computer. Okay, the new one must be newer or the same version as the old one. If it's like older version, it might not work. It will not work. So uh, we need to disable any security firewall for that. Disable screen saver and do not turn off while transferring. This is the important point. Do not turn off, or else like the during the transfer process, right, the thing will uh, being transfer half or it will show error. Okay. Uh, some application might be not compatible. However, if it's like compatible, the software should be automatically activated. Unless like some software that need to uh, key in license or what, that, that one we're not sure. It depends on the software. But mostly those normal software, this common one, can be transferred. So let's check Windows 8. Okay, the reports. everything done okay we restart automatically also and then later on we see hopefully like I think that it will revert back to the initial position initial condition where like uh, the yellow background desktop has only a few things like chrome okay yeah the yellow background this thing is like chrome so I think that's all for my side. It's PC Mobile. Thank you. That's all from my side. Hope you all enjoyed the video. For any more detailed information, you may see the description below. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.